you know, service is something you can do, it's an action, but hospitality is a conversation. I'm Dylan. I own Hawthorne Coffee. I obviously think we serve the best coffee around, but that's not the most important thing for us. I don't know, to make it sound hokey, it was my way to change the world. If I can help people have a better day, if I can impact people positively, that's really kind of, that gets, gets me going. That's what I'm about. Yeah, he's had uh, the old home Ranchilios and pulling shots and he had his little book for years and years and he kind of like got me going in that direction and then for me, just after I discovered coffee, I took off too and one day it was like, let's go for it. You know, we rolled all our pennies and went for it and it's great. I mean, you know, there's always ups and downs with working father-son, but how cool is it that I get to hang out with my dad every day and build something really awesome. We still work bar, we love doing it. I hope to never leave that role you know, is even if it's one day a week, I'd still want to be on bar um, interacting and, and being a part of that. You know, it's my job. That's what I feel like I need to be doing most is taking care of my employees. And um, if I take care of my employees, then they're the people taking care of the guests. It's another one of the goals in starting doing this was creating that work environment that's positive for people every day. You know, we want to positively affect our guests, but we also want to create a space for our employees to thrive and be able to come to work and want to come to work. If they work for us for a year or for 10 years, we want them to be better when they leave. Yeah, we have great regulars. We're in a, a community. It's a neighborhood shop for sure. Everyone that comes in it interacts with all of our employees like they're almost family. And you know, you can tell that there's friendships being built and people coming in because they really love that feel. It's hard to be patient. We're just about into our second year, or through our second year. I always felt like with the employees we had and what we were doing, was working. It wasn't like instant gratification like you really want, but you know it's working and you know that you're affecting people positively and it just, it's starting to really pay off now. We're starting to see it and it's just really cool. Learn that back of the house. Find someone to partner with that knows that kind of stuff if that's not your thing. It's invaluable. Like I worked for 10 years and was a GM for a, a big restaurant company. That stuff for me is second nature now, so I don't have to focus all my energy on trying to figure out accounting and bookkeeping. And I can focus on growing the business and doing other things that are way more interesting than that. But if you don't have that stuff in order, then you can't succeed. You're just gonna be buried with all that, trying to figure out where your money's coming from and going all the time. Shout outs to the homies. You guys are, are rocked. I mean, we love working with you guys. It's been really cool. My staff is rocking. We had a party last night and everyone was there hanging out and we got busy and everyone jumped in and just handled business. It wasn't even like asking or we didn't need anything. It was just like they were there. They wanted to do it. They wanted to hang out and have fun with us. And you, know, you just can't, you know, you can't buy that kind of stuff. It's just people are, the people that we work with are amazing. So those are my shout outs. I, I can't thank the staff enough.